you I have a Mackie SRM 450 version 2 revision H Pico unit um, I've lost the, the video of replacing the MOSFET here and and the bridge rectifier unit which was shorted both were shorted I think the uh, MOSFET was shorted which took out the bridge rectifier which then took out the fuse when uh, got it the fuse was still in there but it was blown um, I found a short on this capacitor and this IC which is a quad op amp which I removed but say I've lost all of the recordings for it um, had a problem with the drive on the computer that I accidentally wiped while doing something else replace the capacitor first and then see about replacing the chip the capacitor down on the board hopefully Older and iron. Terminal. Cool. Other end. I see is a AS three three nine MTR quad op amp or comparator. So uh, see about that in the position and start to uh, solder it down. That's got one leg temporarily. Hold on the iron and down. Get egg. Let me do that one.
Go over them one more time. Super. You have a closer look at those. A check for which check for you. Like everybody else does, push the pins. And they're all solid. I won't say solid like everybody else does on every pin. I've cleaned the area up with Isopo Pro Alcohol. And the next step will now be to um, power up the board to see if we've got the correct frequency down on there. And that uh, we have start to get the voltages out of the unit as we should have. Have the um, meter set to hertz. Injecting 18 volts into the uh, board and on test point A18, we have 95 kilohertz. Now, if I inject 7 volts into pin 8 of this IC, the comparator, that should change. And I believe that that means that the this particular chip is working. So uh, everything looks okay in that respect. So I expect, uh, or I suppose, I need to um, power it up to see uh, if I've got the respective voltages coming out of the various um, devices on the board get this speaker amp working here is an update on the um, SRM450 version 2 the I have changed this capacitor that capacitor one of them is to do with the timing of the chip the other one's feedback from this MOSFET to uh, bring the frequency once the other the other um PWM is working, bring this frequency down to about 68 kilohertz. At the moment, I have on here with 18 volts applied. Unfortunately, I can't show you the uh, oscilloscope, but the oscilloscope shows me a square wave. It's gone up to 90 kilohertz now. It was 30. Uh, sorry, 88. So why is that? So uh, all I've got to do now is put a voltage on A7, which is over there somewhere. Is I think pin 9 of this IC to see if the other PWM is working and brings this this PWM volt, uh, frequency down to um, 68 kilohertz then we could possibly try load uh, connect it up to the mains and see what happens <laughs> 